Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Raja Rashafiq bin Raja Azmi. First of all, I would like to thank Madam Nofariza binti Samsudin, lecturer for IMD 223, for giving me this assignment. Today, I'm going to present and explain about three process of cataloging. First, we start with what is cataloging. Cataloging is one method of bibliographic control where recorded information being organized or arranged according to established standards and they are made readily identifiable and retrieval. The catalog may be in tangible form such as a card catalog or in electronic form such as online public access catalog as we know OPEC. So basically Cataloging is the process of creating entries for a catalog. Next, we look at the stage involved in cataloging. Create a description of physical item. Choose certain name and titles serve as access points. Do the authority work on those names and titles. Do the subject analysis. Choose the subject headings and classification numbers to represent the subject analysis. The last one, create the call number. The process of cataloging involves three major activities, namely descriptive cataloging, subject cataloging, and classification. First, we start with what is descriptive cataloging. Descriptive cataloging includes recording the attributes of a library item, such as the name of author, contributor, title, edition, publisher, distributor, date, the number of page, its size, name of series. Two popular standards for descriptive cataloging are Anglo-American Cataloging Rules, AACR, and its successor, Resource Description and Access, RDA. Descriptive cataloging enables the user to find and identify a book by the name of the author, the title, and variant titles. Next, we look at three steps in descriptive cataloging. The first one, physical description. Description of a particular item started with title and end with notes. Drafting a set of information that includes the agent responsible, such as author and corporate body. The second one, the edition. The third one, the place and date of publication. The fourth one, the publication. The fifth one, the physical description. The sixth one, the series statement and the seventh is the standard number. For the second step, determine main entry and added entry or entries. For the second steps, deciding the access point. The idea is to choose the main responsibility for the material and the other information is being noted in added entries. The third steps is identify the responsibility for the contents of the material. For the third step, determine the proper form for the names and title selected as main and added entries. To form the main entry as stated in AACR, for example, if a name if the author name is Adam Lambert, so at the main entry we should put uh, Lambert first and then put comma then Adam. Next is for the content of catalog. The element in cataloging record consists of four parts headings, description, tracing, and call number. For heading, heading is also called as main entry and is part of access point. There is three types of heading author, corporate name, title. For the description part, bibliographic description is divided into eight areas. These areas are the same areas as in ISBD and AACR. The eight areas are Area 1, Title and Statement Responsibility, Area 2, Edition, Area 3, Material Specific Details, Area 4, Publication, Area 5, Physical Description, Area 6, Series, Area 7, Notes, and the last one, Area 8, is for Standard Number and Terms of Availability. The next part is for tracing. Tracing is an indication on a main catalog record showing under what the additional headings are added entries and the record of all the related reference can be made. The last part is 
call number consisting of the book or item number sometimes other data such as date phone year number copy number call number also provide identification of an individual item and it, its shelf location next is the example of record catalog next is the example of real record catalog the second process of cataloging is subject cataloging what is subject cataloging subject cataloging involves the subject analysis of the resource and providing corresponding subject headings from a control vocabulary and subject heading list such as library of congress subject heading lcsh medical subject headings mesh and assignment of classification numbers using schemes such as library of congress classification lcc or dewey decimal classification ddc this is the example of record catalog with subject heading the importance of subject heading are it helps in determine subject content when the title of the work does not completely indicate what the material is all about it provides access to all relevant materials by subject it brings together all reference to materials on the same subject it provides a formal description of subject content for the last and the third process of cataloging is classification what is classification classification is the act of organizing universe of knowledge into systematic order the systematic arrangement by subject of books and other material on shelf or catalog and index entry in the manner which is most useful to those who read or who seek a definite piece of information example of other material are serials sounding recordings moving image cartographic material manuscript computer files and e-resources for the library classification is the process of arranging grouping coding and organizing books and other library material on shelf or entries of a catalog bibliography and index according to their subject in a systematic logical and helpful order by way of assigning them call numbers using a library classification system so that user can find them as quickly as easily as possible classification process begin by determine the subject content identify the principal concept in the work under consideration use the specific subfield or number available the call number serve a dual purposes it determines the place of a book on the shelf and call locate books on the same topic next to each other that's all from me for three process of cataloging thank you for listening bye bye